אתה העלית את זה? היה שיעור. לא תימא תעמד אליו. Right, yesterday we were talking about the entire concept, right, of whether it's, you know, about the Hanaot from Tashmish, not Tashmish, and all the other things as well, okay? So it says, What does that mean? Don't tell me that the reasoning of Rav is because Kevin Shekin Asa Stam, is because since he got married to her Stam, so he was Mochel on his Tanai, the reasoning of Rav is why? Which means I guess. At the end of the day, he was not Mochel on his Tanai. He still holds and abides by his conditions. He made a condition, he still holds of it. But a person doesn't want to make that his relations, his relations of Znut. Because if you tell me now that there was no wedding, right, and she doesn't need a gets, what happens? He just had relations with a woman that he wasn't really married to. Yeah, I mean, so therefore, en adam oseb, it doesn't matter, but en adam oseb ila to bila znut. But even with his arusai, he doesn't want to make his bia znut. What does it really matter if it's a, a, an engaged woman to him or to him or a married woman? But basically, you're telling him that he's having znut, right? Znut means that it's immorality, immoral. So for nobody wants to say, listen, you've been living with your wife 10 years with immorality. You know, You're living with your wife, a normal, a normal relation. He says, no. He says, the concept is, right, is, is that it's going to be a good marriage and therefore you need a get. He comes and he says, it was already, it was already on a maklopke between them. The itmar, because it was stated. Yeah, the itmar was stated. Tana shelo niana. Aktana that she did not she did not do miyun. Vigdila. And now what happens? She becomes older. The Amdavani said that she got married to another man without a get from the first husband. Yeah. Everyone understood what happened? Yeah. Aktana gets married. How does Aktana get married? Either. Hello? 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 She got married. Aktana. How does Aktana get married? Abashila. Abashila. And, and therefore, can she now do miyun? No, so, the, so who's doing miyun? So then who's going yeah, to get married? So the mother or the brother? The mother and the brother got her married. Now she did not do miyun. All of a sudden, she yeah, becomes yeah. a gdola. And she goes and she gets married to somebody else. Now, when he said, Rav Amar, Rav says, en get mishini. She does not need a get from the second husband. Why? Because even though the first husband's marriage was only a marriage, was it the right of the Rabbanan? The Rabbanan, because only the father could do it the right time. The Rabbanan is the mother of the brothers, right? But, right, at the end of the day, right, she was still, right, Mekudeshet to the first one, Min HaTorah. Why? Because when he had relations to her, one relations with her, one Sigdila, it was Neshem Kiddushi. Right, one more time. So one she was a Ktana. She comes and she gets married. How? To the mother or brother. It's only the Rabbanan. Higdila. Once she became Zola, when the husband yeah, comes, the same husband comes, it doesn't matter whether it was or it wasn't, it doesn't matter. But when Mishigdila, he continues having relations with her. Now, when he continues having relations with her, when she's already a Gdula, what does he have in mind? That that's a Kiddushin. Because beforehand, right, what was it? It was only a Din Banan. Even if he did have relations with her, it was only a Din Banan. But now it's for Kiddushin. Mm -hmm. So now it comes out that she is Mikudesh Amina Torah once Higdila. So therefore, according to Rav, she went now, she didn't do mute, she did not do nothing. What does she do? She goes to somebody else, she gets married. So, so what? She doesn't need a get from the second husband. Why doesn't she need a get from the second husband? Because she still belongs to the first husband. There was nothing. You could not get married if you're already married. Right? En kidushin, chala kidushin, which means she cannot all of a sudden add another man onto her. So it doesn't exist. So she doesn't need a get from the second husband. Okay. Shmuel Amar and Shmuel says, Sricha get Mishani. Right? What does that mean? She needs get from the Shani. Because even though he had relations with her, right? He didn't have a Kavana for new Kiddushin. And therefore, she's not Mikudesh. It's only Midrabanan. Now, Mina Torah, she is Mikudesh from the second husband. So, because of that, she needs a get from the second husband. Right? Everyone understood. <laughs> Says the Gemara, we need both the Machlokot. Which means it gets. Did you realize that the same Machlokot between Rav and Shmuel, does she need to get from the second husband? Right? Which means, was the first marriage a good marriage or not? And the other Machlokot, which was to do with Kiddushin al Tnai, right? It's both the same Machlokot. So says the Gemara, you need both cases. Why? 
the eat mar bahi, if it was only brought down this, the last machloka that we brought down, do the tanashi dila, I would have said bahi kamar rav, nishum de leka tnai. There, there's no tnai. So, therefore, since there's no tnai whatsoever, rav says that the first husband, he had relations with her, right? Al dat kidushin. Why? There was no tnai. So, therefore, everyone knows that kidushim of a tana is nothing. So, when she becomes bat mitzvah, he already has in mind that what? That now he's having relations with her for, for kidushin. But in the first case of the Tanai, of the condition, maybe he's going to be more than Tishwan. There's nothing there. What does that mean? That's not Hashem Kiddushin. So therefore, he thought that the Tanai was Kayam. And therefore, right, he's not, it's not going to be a good marriage. The Itma Beha, and if it was only going to be written, the Machloket in the case of the Kiddushim and Tanai, Beha Kama Shimon, there Shimon says that he didn't have relations for Kiddushin. Why? Because he thought that it was going to be, right, for the without, a, without the, basically that she was fulfilling her condition. But in the second case of Tanah Shekdila, maybe he agrees to Rav, right? And the fact that at the end of the day, it's not going to be needed a get from the second mm-hmm. husband because there was no Tanayim. That's why you need both Machlokon. Tanan, we learned in the Mishnah, Knasa Stam. What happens if a person gets married Stam? And in Sehu Alea Nedarim, and all of a sudden he finds that she's got a whole bunch of Nedarim. She went and she was making promises and oaths and vows and things, right? A lot of different things. So what happened? He says, she goes out without a ketubah. Meaning, he divorces her even without a ketubah. Right? Ketubah, you don't need a ketubah. But you do need a get. Correct? So, my love, are we not talking about shekichal tnai ukna sastam? So, are we not talking about that he got married to her with a condition, and then he, which is the kiddushin, and then he did the nisuin stam, and here we just said that what? That she still needs a get? So, you see from here, to the Shmuel, it's against Shmuel. Shmuel said that you didn't need to get in such a case. You know, this is like going like Rav, that you do need to get. You don't give the Kitubah, you still need to give a get. I ain't giving a Mubet, 73B. So answer the Gemana, Lo. Kitshastam, Uknasastam. You did the Kiddushin and the Nisuin, Stam, without any conditions. So since it was done without any conditions, that's why the Gemana is saying over here that what? That it's uh, that you need the get still, okay? So says the Gemara. Val kichal tzarek nesasam. But if it was going to be the case that we mentioned earlier, which means the kiddushin was al tnai and the nisuin was stam, hachenar gilo baigita. So obviously we don't need a get. Adetani until the Mishnah taught the reish of the Mishnah. Kadesh the Mishnah menat shenal le nederim. The person gets married to a woman on condition that she doesn't have any nederim. Then he mitzua le nederim and then she has nederim and we kodesh she's not going to be married. Litni knesasam and he mitzua le nederim. We kodesh the kosh kena. Why don't we just learn this case? That he got married to her stam. He found a darim. She's not mekudeshet. And then Kol Shekin in a case, right? That he, if he oh, didn't he even got married to her yet, which means that you don't have to say that she was a mekudeshet. So answers the Gemara, Hachi Nami Kamar. You're right. Ham Kadeshet HaYishal Menat Shenan Le'an Nedarim Utnasa Stam. If a person gets married to a woman on condition there's no darim. And then he did the Nisuin Stam. And then she has the darim. And a mekudeshet. Kitsha Stam Utnasa Stam. Tetzev Lok Tuba. That's what you have to add that into the Mishnah. It's like as if they say that the Mishnah was saying, when, when a person gets married, usually they're not going to come and start saying, listen, do you have any uh, pending uh, vows? And it's like, uh, you know, usually it's Knesset Stam, Kiddushin Stam. You're going to start asking her about whether she made any vows in her life or not. Yeah. So, huh? Yeah. Because... Yeah. We have 10 minutes to so that's the Gemara. Right? What are we talking about then? Yeah, right, so again, one more time, we're talking about she's getting married without a ketubah. She goes out, sorry, without a ketubah. So ketubah she doesn't have the ketubah, hagita but she still needs a get. Why is it that she doesn't get the ketubah? The amar, but the person could say, she he doesn't want a woman, and she's always making the darim. If so, get nami So then you don't need a get either. If a person doesn't want a woman that she's an adarit, so therefore it could be that the entire marriage was an al. If the entire marriage is an al, why does she need a get? So Amar Rabba, Rabba says, you're right. She doesn't need a get. Why does she need a get? You don't only need the Rabbanan. Right? Why? Because if not, people are going to start saying, ah, she just got divorced without a get. You understand? So it means even though technically speaking, you're right, she doesn't need a get because there was no marriage. But in order that people don't start saying that a married woman went out without a get, so therefore we, we tell her, make a get. Even though technically she doesn't need a get. It's only the Rabbanan that she needs a get. Okay, but Rabba, my Rabba comes and he says, no, 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 you're right. Tana sabuka misapkala, really be met, Tana had a safek. That's really be met, you know, that she need a get, not a get, this, that, that. So, gabe mamona lekula, to do with money, we're going to go lenient. 
right? What does it mean lenient? Right? We have a doubt. Does he have to pay her now? Money, we go lenient. He doesn't have to pay her. But to do with the Isura, this is an Isur. So the Isur, we go Lechumra. So but since we go Lechumra, right? So then what happens? So therefore he does have to come and he does have to give the get. Because the get is Isura. So Mamona. Mamona, to do with money, right? You go the You understand why you go the Kula by money? Because why are you going to go Lechumra for him? It's a Lechula for her. Kula for him. And it's a Khumra for him. So because of that, we go Lechumra. He doesn't have to, wherever the money was, it stays. So he doesn't have to pay out. But the get is an Isur. Get Isur, give the get. Okay? Amar Rabba, Rabba comes and he says, Machloke, the Machloke between Rav and Shmuel is Davka betaut shte nashim. The mistake of two women. What does that mean? Imagine right now you came and you got married to a woman. On condition there's no nedarim. Afterwards you went and you got married to another woman. right? And you can sustam without any condition whatsoever. No, no, pre, no nothing. And the second woman was the one that had nedarim. Not the first one that you made the condition. The second one that you got married, stam. Okay? So which means he asked all the right questions to the wrong person. Right? Now according to this, Rav says that you need a get. Because since he was Kitshavik and Sastam, you need a get. Ah, you're Makhbid on the first one. It could be that, uh, you know, she was such Chaviva that he didn't care. Right? I mean, the second one, she was so precious in his eyes, he didn't even ask her. Why? He would have accepted it. But according to Shmuel, since he already was Megaled Dato, the first one, he already revealed his mind. During the time of Kedushin, that he was a Makhbid. So the second one also is Makhbid. But if the mistake was only in one woman, which means he was Mikadesh, Ishachat, Al-Tnai. And then afterwards, Kansastam, according to everybody, you do not need a get. Even according to Rab. Right? Why? Because at the end of the day, you saw that from the Kiddushin already, he was Makhbid on the, on the Tanaim. So therefore, even though he got her married fully at the end without a Tanai, he was still Makhbid on the Tanai. So Amal Abayi Abayi comes and he says, Rama Tzniti in our Mishnah is the Ta'ut Ishachati. It's one woman. We're not talking about that you got married to two different women. They come out to you and Tufta be there. We actually asked the Tufta from the Mishnah on Shmuel, right? Which is Mashma that we go like Rav. Now you're telling me that really Behemet, it's not true. Because according to everybody, right? You don't need a get. So says the Gimna, you're right. Elait Malhaki, this is what he means. Amar Rabba Rabba comes and he says, Machlok, it is betauti shachat ke'en shtenashim, just like two women, right? What does that mean? One woman that you're getting married al Tanai, right? Al Kidushin al Tanai, right? Then you divorced her when she was in Adusa. And then again, you took her back, right? You fell into the pit twice. Yeah, you took her back. Now, when you took her back the second time around, you did a bistam. The first time around, you did say it tonight, right? That you didn't want nidarim. The second time around, you didn't. So that was the case. But if it's only going to be with the mistake of the one woman, right? that means you never divorced her in the middle. According to everybody in Sikhaim, you don't need to get. Eight way Abaya. Abaya comes and he asks the following question. If a person comes and he gets married with a mistake, which means... Right? With, it was a mistake. There's no upacho mi or with, without shabat pruta, which means he came, she came and she gave him a packet of sugar and she says, and it comes out that the packet of sugar is not even worth a penny. It's not worth nothing. It's mamash. It's, uh, it's worthless. Yeah? Or a child that comes and he does kiddushin. Right? It's instead of a ring. It's instead of a ring. Or a child that does kiddushin. Even though he went and he sent presents, because remember, see, no, not a presence. When you get engaged, you come and you send presents. Lachani can after the kiddushin, ena mekudesh. She's not married. Why? Why did he send the presents? Because of the first kiddushin, which means he comes and he says that kudesh. She was twelve and a half. He turned thirteen. He's still getting married. Now he comes and he sends her more presents. But the reason why he sent her the second presents was only because of the first kiddushin. So he's still not married to her. Right? There's still no marriage. However, though, if he has relations with her afterwards. Right, Kanu. In this, before. afterwards, right after doing, meaning after getting married by mistake, after getting married with Pachom Shave Pruta or a Katan, once he becomes a Gadol and he has relations with her after doing all these things, which we just said that was not a marriage, but now there's a relation. Kanu, he acquires her, right? Rabbi Shimon and Yudav, Nishum and Shimon and in Baalu Lo Kanu, they do not acquire her. Why? Because he comes and he says that they're only doing the relations. Because of the previous Kiddushin, not because he's doing a new Leshem Yichud, right? Kuchab Yichud that he wants to acquire her for this uh, Kiddushin, for this Bia. You understand? So says the Gemara, Be'ahacha, Ta'uti Shachati. It's only a mistake of one woman. Meaning he didn't get married to two different women. It's one woman. But Pligin, there's still the Machlok between the two different people. My love, we're not talking about Ta'ud Nidarim also, the Ta'ud of Nidarim as well. So says the Gemara, no. Ta'ud Mepachom Nishave Pruta. We're talking about Ta'ud Nidarim and Kichave Ta'ud and all these things. Is with, it's, we're not talking about these things. Rather, only a ta'ut and pachom yishav a pruta. 
Like was remembered, it needs to be a Shem Kutah. By the way, that's why under the Chupa, we come and we ask the Edim, is it Shavet Puta? Why? Because imagine right now, you bought her a ring and she thought that the ring was worth $10,000. And it was really worth $8,000. Do you know it would, it would not be a good Kiddushin? It would not be a good Kiddushin. That's why, by the way, the Minhag is the, 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 the coin of the Kiddushin never has an Evan. doesn't have a stone. It's a plain ring. Why not? Because the stone has many different values. So you don't want to give anything which you can make a mistake in value. A simple ring. That's what you give. It could cost 200 bucks. It costs anything. Simple ring. That's the wedding ring. The one, the wedding band that you're giving to, to the wife. Now, you're coming and you're telling the dean, you're asking in front of her, is this Shaveh Pruta? Why? That means she agrees to get married to him even if this ring is only worth a Shaveh Pruta. Because if she thinks that it's worth 500 and it's really worth 400, it's not good to because that means you cheated her out of it. Uh -huh. you said? So that's why they ask the Edim, is this Shaveh Pruta? Yeah, she heard that. Ah, it's Shaveh Pruta. That's what I'm getting married with. Shaveh Pruta. Ah, Baruch Hashem, it was worth 500. I'm going, okay, Baruch Hashem. Right? But she's getting married on nothing. On the Shaveh Pruta, that's all that it is. Well, she doesn't understand the language. The Gemara, yeah? So he comes and he says, I don't understand what you're talking about then. We learned him in Furash and the Brighter. It said, Kitsha Betaut. Or pachom shavet pruta, and there we said, what is the taut? Taut is not the taut of pachom shavet pruta. It's two different cases. Answers the Gemara, perushin kum farish. It's explaining it. Meaning, when we had this tosefta, that the tosefta said kicha betaut u pachom shavet pruta vechen, so that means the kicha betaut was the case. U pachom shavet pruta is not and. It's an explanation so that the taut was it was pachom shavet pruta vechen katan shekidesh. There was a katan that he did it. Right, right, Kate says. But my coming again, what is the machlok between them? More so, one of them holds in midrash kedushin to sipachot b'shemul zuta gamaru bal shem kedushin. One of them holds that a person already knows that you cannot get married with less than shavet pruta. So when you had the relations with her afterwards, you had it for kedushin. More so, another one holds right. Ena dam yodesh kedushin to sipachot b'shemul zuta he kabaal adat kedushin to shem malad. You know, you didn't know that. So for when you had relations, you were just having relations because of the first Kiddushin. You didn't think, now I'm doing Kiddushin. So because of that, that's a machlok between them. Eighth way, following question. Hareni bo'alech al menat she abba. Right? Imagine right now, a person comes and he tells his wife, right? He's going to come and he's going to have relations with her for Kiddushin on condition that your father wants. Says the Gemara, Afal pi Afterwards, the father didn't want. Mekudeshet, he's still married to her. Of the Of the wife. Of the wife. Ah, actually, you know what? Sorry, sorry. She said, Abba, here it says, in brackets, it says Aviv, which is Rashi. Rashi says it's Aviv, my father. Not your father, you're right. Because Abba usually is your father, but here it's Aviv. But the father wouldn't want, otherwise it's only Kiddushin. Says the Gemara. One more time. Says the Gemara. Eighth way, we have the following question. If the father wanted, it's a good Kiddushin. The father doesn't want it, it's not a good Kiddushin. Over here, it's only one woman. But he didn't get married to two different women. And still, it's a machloket between them. So why did you tell me that it's only a machloket when it's two women? And so the Gemara, what's a machloket between them? More savar amenat she yitze av, al menat she yishtoka av, what does that mean? He understands that when the, the tonight was that the father wants, it means that the father is going to keep quiet and he's not going to say anything. The fact that he kept quiet already means he was happy with it. He kept quiet. So what? He kept quiet. He didn't say anything. Yeah, Omar Sabah, that one said, no, I'm not sure you're Abba Hen. It means that he has to say yes in the affirmative. He didn't say anything. Okay? Eight ways, so we're going to ask the following question. Modim chachamim the chachamim amodim. Rabbi Yezer miktana she see avi avni kashavi he toma bechayav. So to do with the Rabbi Yezer to do with the ktana that the father got married and then she got divorced. Vehi toma bechayav. Now she's a toma bechayav, which means that the the nisuin took her out from the reshut of the father. So therefore, she's considered like a toma now. That means once she gets, that means even though she got divorced, the father has no reshut over her anymore. Okay, vechzira. Now the husband comes and he takes her back. Right? When she's still ktana. And now the husband dies. She does chalitza, not ibu. Why? Because the, the girushin was 100% girushin. Everyone understood what happened. No. One more time. The father got her married. If the father gets her married when she's a ktana, what's alakha? It's doraita. It's a good marriage. Now all of a sudden, 
right? Now, all of a sudden, what happens she is, died. what happens is she gets divorced. When she gets divorced, meaning the, the husband comes, he divorces her. Okay? Now, she's considered a yitoma b'chayeha'av, meaning the father's alive, but she's considered a yitoma. Why is she considered a yitoma? Because the father has no jurisdiction over her. Because she was already 100% married. When she gets divorced, the father does not do afarat nedarim. The father technically is not even obligated to pay for anything anymore to her. Why? Because she's considered a yitoma b'chayeha'av, meaning that even though the father's alive, She's like a yitoma because she already left the jurisdiction of the father. Tanakh, Tanakh, we're talking about Tanakh. Bechzira. The husband comes and he remarries her. Now, when the husband remarries her, she's still a ktana. But now, this kiddushin is not a real kiddushin then, but she's a ktana. Meaning, the father is the only you one that has that doraita that he could cake his daughter and get her married doraita to a man. But if the same husband divorced her, it was a good divorce. He comes now, he remarries her. That second marriage is not a good marriage because it's you can't get married to Ketana, right? You yourself, you can't get married to Ketana. So what happened? The guy dies. The husband dies. So now she has to do Chalitza. She does not do Yibu. She has to do Chalitza. She cannot do Yibu. Why? Because the Girushin was a good Girushin. And it's not a real Chazara. Meaning the fact that he took her back is not a real marriage. But Medvari Muni, one of these words, only if she, he divorced her when she was a Ketana, and he took her back when she was a Ketana. But if he divorced her when she was a Ketana, and then he brought her back when she was a Gdola, or, or he brought her back when she was a Ketana, and she became an elderly woman, and she became Bat Mitzvah under him, and now he dies. Now, now it's Or Chalitza, or Yivu, because now when he took her back, it was actually going to be good. So says Gemara, Mishum Lezer Omer, Mishum Lezer says, Cholets v'lo mitomemet. Even in this case also, you do Chalitza and not Yibum. Because according to him, Agdola, Shinita Shal Yechzida, when the husband dies, it's Chalitza v'lo Yibum. So now the Gemara is going to ask, and I endale the Mudalef, Ve'ahaka detalu shisha achati. Here the mistake was only with one woman, and there's still a machlok between. Again, we kept on wanting to say that the machlok was only when there's two women. And there's one woman, so then there's no machloket. Yeah, there's a proof that even though this is one woman, and there's still a between them. We continue with Hashem on Sunday.